Now, I know this game is a few years old, uh, but this is my first time playing. I tried to play earlier. Well, actually, today's my first time playing. I tried playing earlier, but I was having some issues, so I had to uh, quit. So now I'm going to restart from the very beginning. I was only around just barely into the second mission, so I didn't get very far. So I'm going to restart, but it is really my first day playing. I just had some really... My, my machine wasn't stripping on me. But it's fixed now, so now I can, you know, get back to where I was at. And yes, I'm picking the easiest mode possible. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. 
the Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. Should have been my best to be this piece of junk. Should have built it to turn to. I wonder if she died or if she survived and we'll see you later on the game. Is everyone here? Settle down. I said settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhen ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft. Then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. Now, I did purchase an aircraft, so I guess this is where my aircraft are. Let me see if it'll let me, uh, uh, let's just start the mission. Will it let me choose the aircraft? Because I did do, because the, um, because the, everything was on sale. I don't know when the sale is over, but hey, it was $8.99. And I went ahead and purchased uh, one of the aircrafts. I because I don't like starting with default stuff, so I purchased the MiG. It was like uh, the DLC was on sale for two forty nine plus the uh, game eight ninety nine. So let's see how well I do with this mission. Now, mind you, this is my first day playing, so I'm not going to be really good at it. So, it is what it is. I am playing on keyboard, just to let you know. I am on I am on keyboard. I'm, I don't use controllers when I game. If you can game on controller on keyboard, you can game on anything. I know it's a lot easier with controller, but I'm more comfortable on keyboard Radar since I'm always silent. using it. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main squadron, head to runway. Column squadron, take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, main squadron. Sign is page two. Verify and read back. Page two, clear for takeoff. Your situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with page one. Page two, altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. Carrier. Whoa. Looks like the harbor's taking a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Mage 2, warm up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golem 4, understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. 
Expect the worst and stay sharp. We'll go. Trigger, I'm your wingman. man. Climb with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. A little tricky playing on mouse. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. How do you change? Let's go introduce ourselves. Cover fuel storage is intact. It's asking for another round. All escorts warm up for another attack. Point is 835. Watch out for the support aircraft. These guys out first. How many missiles does it take? Two missiles for the bombers, all right. I'm not quite sure which one is the special weapon, but whichever. Take this guy out first. He's the main target. Second could be 
contact. Stay sharp, think fast. Roger that. I think I'm getting the hang of it. I accidentally sped up, gotta get a gotta get a handle on that. Enemy's got a lock. I gotta get some distance so I can get a clear shot. Okay, there we go. Bandit destroyed. Missile inbound. Evade. One remaining. Mage two, keep your focus. You got this. Where is he at? There he is, right there. Enemy has a radar lock. Go on to box two. This away. That should be all of them, I think. I think that's all of them. Replay mode, so what is this? It lets you uh, see how the mission went. I'm gonna take a look at it, see what it does.
Hmm, this looks interesting. Mage two, form up with Mage one. All aircraft, let's do this. Golden squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golden four, understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Hmm. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. I ever played a game that had a replay in it. This is this was interesting. Let me take a look. I wonder if you can save this. Not bad, Mage Two. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. No, I'll go ahead and skip this. That was just being nosy on um, what the replay mode was. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Ocea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the Department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erujian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhin peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. The world was screwed. Twenty years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. 
paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erugia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erugia went from being a republic back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erugian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. So what happened to her? In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force Base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out and set the dogs on me. Okay, time for mission two. Erusia has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzha. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Arusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. 
first. You will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Take a look at the mission, see what I'm looking at here. Okay, radar vehicles. Radar vehicles are my targets. Let's take another look at the briefing. Eruja has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation. See how many targets total. Uh, let's see here. I've got three, six, seven targets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'm gonna stay with the MiG because the MiG has a better defense. Actually, has a better everything. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the MiG. Target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. Destroy the target. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. But uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Okay, let me just get my altitude up just a little bit. Got to make sure I'm at the right height so I can do this. Looks like I missed. I can't. Like, where's he at? Okay, got him.
attention to who's on what side. The newest IFF is connected to our entire force via satellites. It's reliable, so trust your radars. Two targets remaining. Oh, they got helicopters up too. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can take all these guys out. These guys on the runway. All transports have been destroyed, but what were they carrying? Target eliminated. All right, this base is worth destroying. Enemy behind you. Five targets remaining. Enemy missile detected. Breaking hostile lock. Golem two. Golem two. You can't go after every target. Must That should be almost everybody now. Who's left? What happened? Status report. Multiple bogies on radar. They're close. Wait, they're being launched. You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. On. Judge it by the way they look and move. They gotta be drones. Well spotted, clown. No doubt about it, we're dealing with UAVs. Well, that doesn't change a thing. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what high G turns are, right? Use them. Like a coaster up here. HQ, this is Golem 1. Bandits confirmed as UAVs. Column one, that doesn't matter. Destroy all enemy fighters and get out. It doesn't matter. He's saying the war can change in an instant. Get over it. Yeah, I just wish they'd give us a bit more warning. Enemy UAV confirmed destroyed. Hell yeah. Golem Squadron, you're not gonna let Mage get all the glory, are ya? Three enemies Don't to go. Try to read their Oh, 
a warning. Bandits are in the clouds! You will be down. I'm buying dinner for anyone who takes down an enemy. There's two I want to try. You're doing good. <laughs> Just two more. Tricky, gotta maneuver. Okay, where are you at? He's trying to stay in the clouds. Gotta get some distance. He's maneuvering too well. Gotta get my speed up. Okay, I got him. Thought that one's used guns for a moment. Air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. Surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting-edge aircraft carrier Kestrel II was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. Kestrel 2 is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Barbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone. MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive arsenal birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. 
However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. How many allies I got? Four, eight, okay, 12. We got 12 on our side. 12 allies. Can I upgrade anything? Let me just check. Okay, that'll work. Some upgrade is better than nothing. I like the graphics on this air simulation game. First time doing a air combat for PC. Refueling initiated. Maintain your current position. 100. Trigger. Maintain your current approach. How do you do this? <laughs> this is hard, bro. This is hard. This is hard. Oh. oh. I did it? Mage Squadron, oh. this is the situation. Gollum and the other base's squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive right in the middle of the action. Mage Squadron, eliminate all bandits in the current airspace. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. Good luck. Mage One, Wilco. So I guess this is strictly air-to-air -air combat, this mission. Mage One to Golem One, thank your lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Oh, they got turbulence in this game. Once you hit one of them, stick to them like blue. Don't let them out of your sights even in the clouds. And so your first hunting season begins. How did you do shaft and flares? Okay, G. All right. Okay, two missiles hit. Nice kill. One remaining. 
Where's he at? Where did that missile come from? Okay, so there's my target. Now let me shoot my guns. That's weird. It's not let me shoot my guns. That's weird. Maybe I'm out of bullets. What the heck was that? Tired. 
I'm too far away, shouldn't have fired.
2,000 to runway. Page two, lower speed. Page two, lower nose, you're too high. 1,500 to runway. Hope I land without dying. It's the only thing I can hope I can do. Okay, I did it. But then again, I'm on the easiest mode too, so go figure. Perfect, Mitch 2. I knew you'd be back. Stand by for further orders. Be ready for your next sortie. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Unfortunately, the two-front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel II was sunk during the attack on Farbanti. Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. Our own forces also suffered heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. We have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space elevator. I'm going to go ahead and call it quest for right now. Uh, get some more gameplay in tomorrow. Everybody who stopped by and watched for a little bit, thanks. I am new to this game, like I mentioned before at the beginning of my stream. So I'm um, just trying to branch off to other gameplay. There's a big sale on Steam. So I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, which was a game I used to play on Google Stadia, but I want to now get it for PC. It's on sale for $9.99. I think I'm going to just purchase that and also get uh, going on that as well. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of Cyberpunk in the past, and I've been doing a lot of uh, Warzone 2.0. And so I'm just trying to branch out and do different games, get a different feel of different stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time, and thanks for dropping by. Everybody take care.